Okay, uh, now moving on to uh, exclusion based explanations for the persistence and existence of poverty, those that very much take the social democratic line. Unlike the dependency base, it flips it on its head and says it is the system, it is the capitalist system in which we live that excludes uh, specifically those that are unable then to create wealth. And it is very much not the fault of the individual, but the system that has failed them in this way. They are prevented through certain characteristics from taking part um, in the uh, economy. And so we have the idea of um, their disconnect, um, the lack of access to the power levers um, leaves them excluded in the labor market. We're talking about the very young, the very old, uh, women and ethnic groups um, that are discriminated against. Um, and it points out that this powerlessness and poverty go in hand in hand. And this is the relationship and not the relationship between the individual. And that, in fact, that the instability of the system is because people do not buy into that level of thing. And that most people are uh, innocent victims of the system. And this is how uh, we're excluded. Field develops this further as an idea um, by saying that these groups as described are denied full citizenship, that they are excluded from the rights that other individuals have, that um, they have the right to vote. In, in the sense, when you think of America and if you're in different ethnic minorities from the mainstream, it is harder for you to vote. In some cases, um, we look at government policy, which has, whether Labour or Conservative or internationally, the gap between rich and poor has been exponentially growing over the years. And this has also left those in the bottom tiers behind. So uh, um, also uh, the media and the portrayal and the stigmatization, stigmatization, stigmatization even of the poor we see running in the press. Um, the uh, other forms of exclusion-based theory take a more directly uh, Marxist line, um, and they point out that um, poverty is inevitable in a capitalist system, and in fact helps the ruling class in a number of ways. Um, if nothing else, what it does is it, um, it has this idea of um, the poor as a warning, um, the poor as um, something to be aware of um, in terms of your social position. If you're not poor, you, you should perhaps um, look to the start line behind you of those further behind rather than worrying about those that are ahead. It's a warning that if you do not behave like good proletarians, um, that you are likely to have this taken away. It allows uh, the ruling class to slip by unseen.